Okay, we just finished reading an article on super recognizer. Now let's take some interesting tests to see if we are good at remembering faces. The first test here on the screen is face blindness test, and then the other one about uh, whether or not you are super recognizer is the test on are you a super recognizer. Let me show you these two tests first. So this is the test on whether or not you have face blindness. So in this test, you will see different pictures. So this is the first picture. So it's definitely new. This is definitely new, new, and this is from the first picture, right? So you will click see. So it is challenging you how much you can remember. Okay, how much you can remember. If you are interested, you can continue this test. And then here is uh, the test on whether or not you are a super recognizer. But first of all, you need to fill in your personal information. So you guys are all 18, so I'll pretend that I am also 18 today. So gender, let's choose non-binary because we have both boys and girls. Or if you are gender queer, that's totally fine. Is English your primary or native language? No. And other information, this is optional, so we don't need to fill in. So submit. Okay, next is part two of part five, famous faces. So you wait for it to load. Okay, almost there. Come on. Okay, so you'll read the instruction. You'll be shown a series of famous faces alongside a Doppelinger, which looks similar to the famous person. Click on the face whose name appears on top of the images. Let's practice. So which face is Goggles, the dog? So dog, of course, is this one. Okay, and then you will choose the next one. Which face is the cat? So here it is asking us to answer some stupid question to see if we are okay on the same page okay with the test giver okay so Michael B Jordan okay which one so for this one if you don't know then just click you don't know okay so this is another test on whether or not you if you are super recognizer now let's take a look at this one. This is an interesting test to help you figure out your personality type. And once you are done with all the questions, you will get an, an analysis. And in this analysis, they will tell you your creative type, your creative strengths, and untapped potential and ideal collaborator. And for me, another... Uh, aspect that makes this test more enjoyable is how cute these okay icons are okay so let's take a look at this test so this is the creative types test so let's start test so you will be asked a few questions so when traveling you always need a destination or direction so click one and then if you don't want to see the animation here, you can skip and then you will see the next question. Okay, so I strongly recommend you do this test because most of the students who have done it before all said it's quite accurate. So it's definitely worth trying. Okay, it's definitely worth trying. Okay. So these three tests are simply for fun and for, you and for, for your information. And again, I strongly recommend the last test, okay, to, to help you figure out your personality better. Okay, and this uh, unit is essentially about work and from the article we just finished you can see one particular type of ability and 
to help you understand what skills are important and needed and what the changes are, I show you a list of 10 skills in 2015 and 2020. So try to compare them yourselves to see what uh, skills are important and whether or not you have them. Okay, so this is for your reference, for your reference. Okay, now let's move on to the grammar portion. Okay, gerunds and infinitives. First of all, we need to know what gerunds and infinitives are. So gerund refers to a verb that ends with ing, like swimming. And infinitives refers to verbs that looks like this with two and base form. So like to swim is infinitives. So in the future, when you are referring to a verb with an, that ends with ing and a verb that looks like this, do not say ing or 2v. You need to say gerunds and infinitives. And in English, okay, some verbs are followed by a gerund, okay, or I should say always followed by a gerund. For example, enjoy. You would say Marta enjoys meeting people or she misses going to parties. And some verbs are always followed by an infinitive. For example, Marta wants to meet people or she likes to go to parties. But the tricky thing is some verbs can be followed by either a gerund or an infinitive to describe different situations, which means when a verb is followed by an infinitive, it has a meaning. And then when a verb is followed by a gerund, it has another meaning. And this is exactly what we need to figure out in this unit. We need to figure out uh, how okay, these seven verbs can have different meanings when they are followed by gerunds and infinitives. And in our lesson today, we will focus on stop, remember, and forget. And we will talk about the remaining in the following lecture. Okay, so when stop is followed by a gerund, like Smarta stopped eating ice cream, what does it mean? It means, okay, this person does not do the action anymore. She does not eat ice cream anymore. But when stop is followed by an infinitive, such as Marta stopped to eat ice cream, what does it mean? It means a person stops action one to do action two. So she stopped another activity in order to eat ice cream. Okay, so this is the difference between stop followed by a gerund and stop followed by an infinitive. When stop is followed by a gerund, it means that person does not do that action anymore. On the other hand, when stop is followed by an infinitive, it means that person stops something in order to do that action. Okay, so this is stop. The second one, remember. When remember is followed by a gerund, such as Richard remembered mailing the letter, what does it mean then? It means this person have a clear memory of doing a certain action. So for example, here we have a clear definition. First, he mailed the letter, then he remembered that he did it. In other words, he did it and he remembered doing it. Okay, and when remember is followed by an infinitive, what does it mean? Okay, look at this example sentence here. Richard remember to mail the letter. Okay, it means the action is complete. The action is done. Okay, it means he mailed the letter. So the difference between remember followed by a gerund and followed by an infinitive is that when we use remember with a gerund, it is used to emphasize that we remember doing it. And when it is used with an infinitive, it means the action is done. We are emphasizing the fact that this action is complete. Okay? And finally, forget. When forget is followed by a gerund like Serena forgot meeting Alan, it means that action is done, but that person does not have the memory of it at all. So to put it back into the context of this example sentence, 
She met Alan, but she didn't remember it at all. What about when forget is followed by an infinitive? Serena forgot to meet Alan. So when forgot is followed by infinitive, it means the an action is planned, but that person does not do it because she forgets about it. So she planned to meet Alan, but she forgot to do it. Okay. So when forget is followed by a gerund, it means the action is done, but that person does not remember it at all. And for when forget is followed by an infinitive, it means that person wanted to do that, but in the end didn't do it. Okay, so these are the differences of forget, stop, and remember, followed by a gerund or an infinitive. Okay, now let's look at a few example sentences to check your understanding. So you need to figure out whether or not the explanation here explain the sentence in both. Both phase correctly. So let's take a look at the first one. Marta remembered meeting Mr. Jackson. So when remember is followed by a gerund, it means that person remember doing something. So does that mean Marta has already met Mr. Jackson? Yes. Richard stopped smoking. So when stop is followed by a gerund, it means that action is not done anymore. So Richard doesn't smoke anymore. Is correct? Yes, it is correct. Let's move on. She didn't remember to buy a cake. So remember to. So let's ignore the auxiliary verb didn't here. Remember to. When remember is followed by an infinitive, what does that mean? It means that person remember to do something, or we are using it to emphasize that the action is done, is complete. And here we have a negative, so she bought a K is of course wrong. She stopped working out. So when stop is followed by an by a gerund, okay, it means that action, okay, is being done, okay. Is not done anymore. Okay, it's not done anymore. So she stopped working out. It means she used to go to the gym. So used to is used to describe habits in the past. So this is correct. Okay, a couple more. He forgot to invite his wife to his birthday party. So when forgot is followed by an infinitive, it means that person planned. To do something, but in the end didn't do it. So he invited his wife. Is of course wrong. He forgot getting married with her last night. So when forgot is using is used with a gerund, it means that person did something but does not have the memory of it. So he didn't marry her. Is of course wrong. Okay. So here you see, uh, five sentences. I would like you to figure out the correct verb form, gerund, okay, or infinitive, by looking at the situation here carefully, and I will go over the answers, okay, one by one in the following lecture, okay, in the following lecture, okay. So let's take a look at what we have covered in the lesson. Today, in the beginning, we talk about different ways to describe your job, right? There are ten verbs. Let me go over them again, and you can see if you can still、uh, remember them, or you can, if you can even describe them in your own words. That would be great. So, competitive, flexible, well-paid. In the blah 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 industry, work long hours, stressful career prospects, in charge of demanding creatives, and we also learn seven verbs about seeing. Right? What are they? They are catch, glance, notice, identify, observe, recognize. For the article, we learn about. 
who super recognizers are, what they are good at, and how helpful they are. And I also encourage you to do several tests on face blindness and whether or not you are a super recognizer. And one more test on personality. Again, I highly recommend you do that test. The result is quite accurate. Okay, it's quite accurate. And take a look at the list of top ten skills in two thousand twenty and two thousand fifteen to see the differences. And more importantly, check if you actually have any of those skills. If you are interested in any of them, you are still young. Schedule time to learn them. And finally, we learn gerunds and infinitive. Gerunds are words that are verbs that ends with ing, and infinitives are words that ends with、uh, not ends with are verbs that ends with. That looks like two V, okay? T, T, O, and then base form verb. And today we only focus on forget, remember, and stop, okay? So don't forget to finish the practice here to reinforce your understanding of how to use gerunds and infinitive properly, okay? And here is a to-do list for you. Of course, you need to review the lesson and finish the sign practice. Okay, in the slides, and please try your best to finish the recommended test. Okay, I ask you to do them for your own good. And finally, in the next lecture, we will start working on another new tech talk. If you can watch that tech talk in advance. Okay. That will help you understand my lecture better. All right, that's it for today. Thank you for your time and effort. See you soon.